You know, you're going to ask, uh, you know, why are we here today? It is because it's, it's about power and the power of corporate America. The power of a corporation such as Tyson Foods, the company that controls what I'm going to get for my finished cattle, as well as what you consumers pay. They're going to pay what they feel like paying me, and they're going to charge you as much as they can of your consumer. The power also extends very much into Washington, D.C., where they control our Congress, and in my opinion, control the USDA. Power that comes from lobbying. You know, the agribusiness is one of the chief lobbying groups in the, in the, in the United States Congress today, as well as, can, as, as well as campaign contributions, you know. You know, I, I've always wondered, what is the real difference between a campaign contribution and a bribe? Does that sound like about the same? Uh, what can we do? Well, you know, we've got an administration now that's promised us change. And I believe we can change. I think if we all hang together, we can change. Uh, I'm not going to give up. Uh, this door, this sign on my door, it's not alone on my door. It's on the door of every producer that there would speak up, that would take the courage to speak up. And don't be afraid to speak up. We've got a USDA right today. They fought us every tooth of the nail. We beat them on the Canadian issue back in 04. We had the USDA who once took us to court, opened the border to Canadian cattle, and we know what happened when the Canadian border was closed. We had the best market we ever had. And we know what happened now that it's opened again. And it's a country that has a problem with a disease. End of the story. I had a very interesting email this morning from uh, a producer in, uh, in Canada that's in full support of what RCAF is trying to do for the industry. And that's all I got to say again. Thank you very much for your support here today.